So far I missed filming a moose and a golden eagle. Okay, well, it's raining outside and I'm bored out of my skull. So I'm going to use this opportunity to give you an overview of my station here. I'm sitting in the tent. Uh, lots of lightning and thunder storms rolling over at 10,000 feet in elevation. They're pretty severe. So I have all the coax cables disconnected currently. Um, I run an IC7300, uh, 90 watts out, usually 90 watts out. If the battery is low, I'll tune it down to 75 maybe. But uh, I rarely go over 90 watts on it. Well, here's the operating position. Back here I have a 40 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Uh, this one's not connected at the moment. Uh, I have two of them. There's another one back there that is uh, for running the radio. And I'll alternate between that one and the other one as I'm charging it outside with the uh, solar panel. As far as charging the batteries go, I'll use a 100 watt uh, solar panel. Uh, connected to an MPPT charge controller. Now it's fairly noisy so I have to keep the charge controller out towards the truck. That's about 50 yards away from me on the other side of the kitchen. So um, I keep the solar charge controller in the bed of the truck and I use the solar panel on the side of the truck. I'll bring the battery out to the truck and uh, charge one battery all day uh, while I'm using the other one. Uh, the noise doesn't really get into the radio. The RFI doesn't really come in uh, while it's that far away. Now this solar generator under the desk, the 85 amp hour battery pack under the desk uh, generates a lot of noise and it's pretty heavy. So I don't take that out to the truck or anything. I just leave it under here charge my gear and uh, shut it off while I'm operating. I'll only run a battery and a radio while I'm operating. Uh, the iPad I'll run but it's not connected to anything. It's uh, Bluetooth is turned off. Everything's turned off just running the iPad so it doesn't generate any noise. So it's nice, you know, I got the satellite XM radio connected to the uh, battery box underneath. I have um, my VHF comms connected to the battery box underneath. I have the Bose speaker connected to the battery box underneath. Pretty much all of the peripheral devices that I don't use while I'm operating the HF rig is connected to that solar generator under the desk and obviously if I'm operating that gets turned off everything else gets turned off I'm only running the radio and the battery while I'm uh, operating so I normally operate with 90 watts 90 watts out from the IC7300 if I'm shooting a video for YouTube I'll, I'll run the stock microphone otherwise I'm using the Heil Pro Elite headset for the icon and uh, yeah so I love the headset I get good reports on the audio from it and uh, I get good reports on the stock mic too so the hand mic is just fine on it so that's it uh, just the battery a radio I run an off center fed dipole up in the lodgepole pines it's up about 65 feet uh, Feeding it with about 75 80 feet of coax RG8X. And uh, so, yeah, the altitude here is 99 plus, 9900 plus feet in elevation. And the antenna is up 65, so the antenna is right at around 10,000 feet. So, yeah, I tell everybody, yeah, I'm operating 10,000 feet in elevation. That's where the antenna is sitting anyway. Uh, that's it. Yeah, I just keep my gear on the other side of the trailer. I have my toiletry bag and my coffee bag. 
some ham radio accessories, Anderson power pole connector, whatnots, and uh, some of the camera gear I have. Of course, my clothes and got some peanuts and uh, pistachios over there too, just for snacking. So I run the Sirius XM radio, and uh, that works good, you know, as long as I have a clear view of the southern sky. Uh, with the antenna. I also have a Bose speaker that uh, is connected to it and that's a battery, you know, that's rechargeable speaker but I keep it connected to that battery box underneath t the desk. Um, I run a little buddy heater for heat. That's, uh, that's right there. It's currently running because it is wicked cold in here. Roger, you got the call November 0, Kilo Tango Zulu. Alright, November 0, Kilo Tango Zulu, 1 Bravo, Colorado, QSL. Roger, Roger. Alright, 7 3, thank you. The Eagle came swooping down. Looked like it was after something because it folded its wings back and took a dive. But, uh,. Whatever it was got away. Landed up in the tippy top of the tree over there. I went to go get my camera, and uh, by the time I got back with the camera, it was soaring around the valley over there. That would have been nice to get on film. So I've seen two golden eagles before. Neither one is on film. I guess you just have to be there. Beautiful birds. Moose came down through the trees over there, started feeding on these willows across the way here, about 30 yards away. And I had my GoPro on my head, and I'm talking to the camera. I pressed the button, and I'm talking to the camera, and uh, describing how he came through the woods and stuff. <laughs> and I must have hit stop instead of go on the camera. I'm about as sharp as a marble. <laughs> 